Hold on to your dumplings, folks. Your favorite actress, Zhao Lucy, just got a super cool gig outside of acting. Apparently, she's gonna be a torchbearer at the freaking Paris Olympics. This news dropped on Weibo faster than you can say bonjour. With Lucy's name trending like nobody's business, the Olympics website even posted a pic of her looking all fierce with her hair down, rocking a white shirt. Because safety first. Duh. But wait, there's more. The website also spilled the tea that Lucy's a total sports whiz. Apparently, she's not just a pretty face, she crushes amateur games and even won a mixed archery championship. Talk about a triple threat, acting, slaying arrows, and now carrying the Olympic torch. This girl's on fire, literally. Of course, Lucy's fans, aka the Kaluli crew, are having a meltdown in the best way possible over this. They're already bragging to everyone that their girl is winning not just on screen, but in real life too. Just in case you're living under a rock or, you know, avoiding cheesy dramas, here's a quick Lucy lowdown. This Sichuan-born beauty began making waves in the entertainment world in 2017. She initially appeared in a drama so schmaltzy it could give you diabetes untouchable lovers. But hey, gotta start somewhere, right? Luckily, 2018 was her year. She snagged a role in Oh My Emperor, where she played a lady assassin. The drama blew up, and even though she wasn't exactly stealthy, the critics loved her. And that, my friends, is how Zhao Lucy became a bona fide rising star. Not bad for a few years' work, huh? Basically, she's doing the damn thing and there's no stopping her. Congrats, Lucy. Now go make the Olympics epic, and maybe don't drop the torch. That'd be a bummer. So Wang Huddy, dude literally exploded onto the scene as Dao Mingsa in Meteor Garden. Problem was, the guy knew about as much about filming as a fish knows about flying a kite. Apparently, multiple takes were a foreign concept to him at first. Luckily, acting classes not only schooled him on that, but also sparked a real love for the craft in Huddy. His next project was a historical drama called Youth and the Flames of War, filmed way back in 2019, but shelved until 2023 for reasons probably more confusing than a tax form. The drama itself dealt with some heavy stuff. Japan invading China, forcing students to relocate, you know, the whole war thing. Not exactly the setting for a rom-com, Huddy and his co-star Zhou Ye, both kinda green at the time, acting-wise, ended up with some pretty limited, lovey de action. Their most romantic scene involved Huddy awkwardly carrying Zhou Ye through burning streets during a Japanese air raid let's just say the ringing in his ears afterwards was more from the explosions than any sparks flying. Still, fans were hyped to see their chemistry, even if it took five years to finally hit the screen. Huddy's not wasting any time. Dude's fresh off filming light to the night, and now he's jumping into a sci-fi flick called Yujo Sheng Soon Ji Nan. Translation, survival guide for the universe, sounds intense. This also marks round two with his co-star Zhou Ye from Youth and the Flames of War. The movie's based on a novel by some Chinese author named Wei Chung. And let me tell you, it's got one hell of a plot. Basically, Wang Huddy plays this high school kid who's yanked out of his exams by a mysterious window-smashing dude. Turns out, the whole world he knows is a fake like a giant VR program. In reality, he's an astronaut on ice, and things are about to get real space disaster Why up in his spaceship. Wang Huddy's been all over the genre map lately. From historical stuff like love between fairy and devil, to fluffy idol dramas like Only for Love, seems like he's on a mission to prove he can do it all. Plus, earlier this year he was yapping about wanting to break into films, and guess what, bam, sci-fi flick. And hey, Zhou Ye's always been down for some sci-fi action. With these two back together, who knows what kind of sparks, or maybe even explosions, we can expect. Hold on to your hats, folks, cause Joy of Life Season 2 is finally dropping after five years of begging the drama gods. Get ready to mark your calendars for May 16th, because that's when the epicness hits China Central Television's prime time slot and streams explode on Disney Plus and Tencent. The cast even had a fancy screening event where the screenwriter, Wang Juan, spilled some juicy tea. Apparently, season two is bringing the heat with intense court battles, doctors getting medieval on people, think scalpels and stuff, and most importantly, a freaking wedding between our main characters. Yeah, Fan Xian and whoever he's sweet on are finally tying the knot. Speaking of Fan Xian, the new season's poster has him looking all murder why as he stares off into the distance. Two big takeaways from this pick. Dude survives that nasty injury from season one, score, and he's traded his wide-eyed innocence for some serious ambition. Will this newfound drive mess with his whole character arc? That's the juicy drama we're all here for, baby. Now there is a bit of a downer. Remember those two beloved characters from season one? Yeah. They got recast for season two, and let's just say the internet ain't happy. 
Fans are throwing some serious shade at the change-up, with Joy of Life Season 2 cast changes trending like wildfire on Weibo, first up, we got Xiao John, the dude who blew up in The Untamed back in 2019. By the time Joy of Life aired that same year, he was already a rising star. People were tripping over themselves for a crumb of his attention. His performance as Yan Bingyun though, let's just say it was a mixed bag. Fans went gaga over his good looks, claiming he was perfect for the role. Critics, on the other hand, weren't so impressed. They slammed him for being a one-trick pony, delivering the same flat performance throughout the whole show. Apparently, the producers wanted the original cast back for season 2. But guess what? Xiao Zhan's team said, nah, scheduling conflicts, they said. Insiders whispered something different though. Seems like Xiao Zhan's crew was worried about the role sparking more controversy. They figured they'd get slammed no matter how good he was, since it wasn't a lead part. So, they bounced. Next up, we have Han Ju Nuo, who slayed as Ye Lingar in season 1. This chick's the Grand Marshal's daughter and BFF to the main girl, Lin Wanar. She's basically Cupid for Lin Wanar and Fan Xian's love story always there to cheer her on, Han Joon Nuo nailed Ye Lingar's spunky personality and her whole hero with a heart of gold vibe. Here's where things get juicy. Season 2 of Joy of Life is produced by New Classics Media, which also manages actress Jin Chen. Netizens, those ever suspicious internet sleuths, put two and two together. They think New Classics Media maybe wanted to promote their own talent, hence the Jin Chen switcheroo. This theory gets even thicker because Ye Lingar apparently has way more screen time in Season 2. Needless to say, fans are bum that Hanju Nuo won't be back. Alright alright, buckle up because we've got some hot casting news for a brand new historical detective drama called Calming Waves, filming just kicked off today in Hung Dian, and get this, the leads are both fresh-faced youngsters, clocking in at a cool 22 years old, Wang Xingyue, who's been on the rise thanks to Yu Jung's agency, is snagging his first lead role. This dude's been grinding away in supporting roles, but with gigs like Scent of Time and Story of Kun Ning Palace, he's definitely proven his chops. His co-star, Shang Hunji, just wrapped up a period drama herself, playing the leading lady opposite Deng Wei in Love of the Divine Tree. So, what's the story in Calming Waves? We've got Xiao Bei Ming, the top detective in Great Chi, who gets royally screwed over, framed for whacking his own master on his wedding day, no less. Talk about a bad day at the office. But fear not, because three years later, Xiao Bei Ming is back with a vengeance. He joins forces with his junior sis, Zhang Shuiman, and a ragtag crew to solve crimes and unearth the truth behind his master's murder. Now, the plot might sound a bit familiar, but hey, the whole wrongfully accused dude on the run thing is a classic for a reason, right? This drama is based on an original screenplay, which is pretty cool considering the recent trend of remakes. Hopefully, the story itself is killer. Aichi Yi and upcoming legend media are behind the production, and we've also got some other names to look out for in the cast, including Chen Yue, Zhang Nan, Hulu Oluo, and even Deng Kai in a special role appearance. Alright, that's all I got for now. Don't yell at me in the comments, seriously though, hit me with your thoughts, and I'll see you next time.